Hi, this is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing our weight loss vlog. You guys are doing great. You have really wonderful questions, and so today I'm going to do a question and answer session with some of the things that you have put forward. I will ask you if you would share this with other people that you think could benefit, and I would really appreciate it because, again, I'm just doing this to reach more people and help people who are otherwise struggling to find answers for their weight problems. Um, so I would so appreciate it if you would kind of send this along and... Um, um, remind people that there are already, I think, 23 or 24 of these videos on the um, on the site. So here we have some questions, very good ones. So the first is, how do you wean off phentermine? The short answer to this is, you don't have to wean off phentermine. You really don't get withdrawal effects like you do with some medications. I have a lot of people that really are off and on them and uh, use them quite well. They notice certainly when they stop them, oftentimes their appetite seems to come back. And so, <clears throat> you know, when you decide you want to stop it or if your physician has decided to stop it, you want to make sure that you've done all of the lifestyle modification things that should curb your appetite. So continue with your exercise exercise, higher protein, low carbs, don't drink soda, not a lot of concentrated sweets, because these are all things that will increase your appetite. So, um, so you don't have to wean off phentermine. And interestingly enough, just so you understand the logistics of phentermine, because I've had a lot of people saying that their physician is holding tight to the three month right regulation. So phentermine is approved for three months by the FDA all by itself. But if you run into trouble, you may want to kind of you know, you got to do this kind of diplomatically, right? So, um, so bring up the fact that, and here's the study, just so you can see. So, and it's kind of hard to find these things, but the sequel trial, um, phentermine is approved for chronic long-term weight loss and weight management in combination with topiramate, which is also under the name of Q uh, Topamax, under the big the name Qsimia that's the brand name so and I get the sense that um, quite often maybe your insurance isn't covering Qsimia so the so your physician might be prescribing phentermine and topiramate separately and if that's the case because um, I got another question here's the second question side effects with Topamax or topiramate right if you do not need the topiramate don't take it. If you can get away with just the phentermine, use that because to pyramate or topamax as the second agent there, while it has good appetite suppressant and weight loss effects, it does have more side effects. So it has some risk of um, birth defects. If you're a female of childbearing age, you need to be on some significant birth control there if you're going to use it. Um, it has a risk of kidney stones, and it can. It's used as a mood stabilizer. It's very interesting. It has some central nervous system effects. It's used to decrease seizure. It's used as a mood stabilizer sometimes. And so, but that being said, some people will notice either an improvement in mood or actually, you know, some people get their mood gets kind of off. So if you don't need the topiramate, don't take it. Just try the phentermine. So, and... Um, uh, what if it changes my sleep and or mood? And at this point, I'm talking about the phentermine again. Some people have it change their um, sleep patterns. Most of the time, phentermine is a stimulant, so people take it in the morning. Uh, interestingly enough, if you take it in the morning and the effect kind of wanes off during the day, if, say, you're taking a 30 or a 37.5 milligram pill, you can always cut it in half and take half in the morning and half at noon and see if that kind of gives you more effect during the day into, like, afternoon and dinner time without making you um, have trouble falling asleep. And then paradoxically, some people take phentermine and it makes them tired. So some people have paradoxical reactions to medications, meaning they have the opposite effect of what you think they should have. So if that's the case, if you've taken phentermine and it makes you tired for some reason, so what I would say is, try to take it late in the day and see what happens. If you take it late in the day and you sleep fine and you still get the benefit, then use it that way. Okay, so these are some interesting things about the phentermine and topiramate or topamax questions. The other things that I would remind you are also, especially if you have diabetes, please um, entertain the, the options of things like Victoza, which is a loraglutide. This is a medication that has the indication for weight loss albeit at higher doses, but usually your insurance won't pay for it 
under the different name, which is Sexenda. It'll usually pay for it, though, or will cover it in part if you're using it for the diabetes indication, and it can really help with weight loss, and you can use it with fentramine. So try to play around with some of these other medications um, if you're looking for other options, okay? So great. You guys have great questions, and again, please share this with anybody you think might find it helpful. I'm just doing this really because I want to, you know, be able to bring this information to more people because uh, I think the medical community is kind of very frustrated and just throws their hands up when it comes to obesity stuff and just says, well, eat less, exercise more, like that's going to fix the problem all by itself because people are overwhelmed with food messages and overwhelmed with uh, stimulus to eat because of the big uh, because of the food industry. So, um, I mean, just uh, this past week or two, um, you know, the USDA bought up twenty million, I think, dollars worth of cheese surplus and is going to dump it into our food. Um, chain. So you need to be aware of these things, and if anybody is interested in, in all of that, I would strongly encourage you to, to take some uh, stance locally with healthy foods and healthy options um, because uh, you're working against uh, the big food industry. It's kind of like working against big tobacco. So share this with your friends. Share this with people who might be looking for some help and great questions. I will still continue to try to answer them as best I can. Uh, good job, everyone. Thank you.